it migrates over an immense distance in Australia from southern Queensland, western New South Wales, western Victoria to the Australian mountains, our highest peaks, and all of them end up uh, finding very small uh, caves. Uh, and when they come there, two billion moths every spring and, and take themselves into these caves, um, they sit on the walls of the caves so tightly that there, there are about 17,000 of them per square metre of cave wall. The reason we think that the moths fly all that great distance to come up to these mountains to find these caves uh, is that the caves are very cool. One possibility here is that they come to the caves in order to slow down their lifestyle, in order to um, not wipe themselves out. They spend three or four months there in a dormant state and then after the summer is over they leave the caves and return to where they came from back a thousand kilometres to their, to their birthplace. And when they get there, they then uh, find each other, they mate, lay their eggs, and then they die. And their offspring survive during the winter as, as larvae, as caterpillars. And then the following spring, the adults emerge and start this tremendous journey all over again, having never been to the mountains before, having had no idea from any previous experience how to get there, but nonetheless, they do. So just assume that they'd be using uh, celestial cues like stars and the moon for navigation, uh, as we'd seen in some other insects that orient over very small distances at night, they use these cues. Uh, but it became very obvious that this insect, which migrates for hours and hours and hours every night, over many, many, many nights, that these cues are very unreliable. So it was a surprise to discover that actually they also use magnetic information from the Earth's magnetic field. Uh, we used a so-called Mauritsen Frost Flight Simulator. It can be simply described as a plastic drum yeah, with 50 centimeters diameter across. And in the middle of this um, drum, plastic arena, a moth is performing flight behavior while it is tethered to a stalk. And it can rotate about 360 degrees. And um, while this moth is performing this flight behavior, we can manipulate the experimental magnetic field around the animal.